I, uh, I was always in the kid pool and they, they finally had the practice for the six year olds to swim in the deep end and this was a big kid practice and I tried to swim. I couldn't make it, I got halfway and I had to hold on to the lane line but yeah so that was my first memory of swimming with, um, with a fail so <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't great off the bat. Well, growing up, um, swimming was so important to me because I was constantly around it. I have an older brother and sister that swam as well. It, I spent my summers swimming for the uh, Great Kill Swim Club, and then I would constantly go on my brother and sister's swim meets and diving meets and such. So it, I was just naturally uh, attracted to it. I was doing okay in like seventh, eighth grade, but then once I got into like my sophomore and junior year, I started to excel because I started to go to the practices six, seven times a week, sometimes eight. And then uh, it just, a thought occurred to me, like, why not? Like, why can't I achieve something like being one of the best swimmers on Staten Island or even like in, in New York, so. Going into college, uh, my high school advisor, she was telling me to look at uh, Stevens Institute, uh, Binghamton, Macaulay Honors at CSI, uh, Macaulay Honors at Baruch, and then uh, University of Delaware as well. The reason that CSI was the main choice for me was because the aspect of being in um, a smaller community in the Macaulay Honors College, but being part of a large university. So I have my close friends in Macaulay, but as well I can take apart the opportunities that are at the school, all the clubs, I'm in the Finance Club, Macaulay Scholars Council, um, I'm also I'm on the swim team, and it's just a great atmosphere with the athletics when Mike took me here. Everybody's very supportive and they want to see you do great. Um, I'm double uh, majoring in accounting and finance and the reason I'm double majoring is because I want to graduate with 150 credits in my four years so I can get my uh, certified public accountant degree so I can become an accountant. Going to college I really wasn't sure but a couple of my, of my Macaulay friends they re they're very intelligent and they're very motivating for me. Um, my friend John Buscini, John Como, Vin and Dokai, Mike Crescenti, they all helped me understand why the business world was such an important thing. Um, in my opinion, this, this movement that we're making in the D3, D2, this is just another step in the journey. This is just another stop we're making as we are progressing year by year. Going from a jump like that, it's just new competition, it's a new motivation, it's something to work towards, and now everybody has to step it up. I don't think I individually I need to make a, a huge role. I think just as a team sport, I want to make sure my team is uh, going to compete at the highest level. If that means sacrificing some events uh, for other kids, like I, I will move around if I don't swim a relay, I can obviously swim an individual. So I just want my um, role to be, I want to be as motivating to others as the college is as motivating to me. Oh, I feel like swimming is a good stress reliever as well as the gym. Um, when you're more busy, I feel like you have to allocate your time correctly, and by allocating your time correctly, you're gonna you're gonna know when you have to get stuff done, and that's just a motivator for doing well in school, doing well in your sport, because now time is 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 an essence. So you just want to really balance it out and make sure you're doing the best you can be. Well, academically, uh, CSI, uh, they have great classes. Um, the professors that I've had in the past year, I've had nothing but compliments for them. They've told me all the everything that can be accomplished with hard work and diligence. And looking at the athletics, even any time I walk upstairs, everybody asks me, how am I doing? How am I doing in my sport swimming? How is uh, school going? Going into uh, CSI, the way they make me feel professional is everybody looks at you, they don't look at you as a child when you walk through the door, they look at you as an adult and they respect your opinion and they listen to you. The professors here and my advisors, they listen to me, whenever I have a question they answer to the best of their ability and they make sure that I am 100% positive about what I'm going to do and confident. There was so many opportunities I didn't know about coming into here when, when I walked through the door. Obviously I knew a great deal about um, like the swim team who was on and stuff, but just the atmosphere of 1R, just when you walk in this building, it's just you're like bombarded by hellos and like, how are you doing? Like everybody's very supportive and that is the reason why everybody's gonna go to the next level is because everybody here wants to compete and they want you to see you do good. There's no negativity here, which is a great thing. 
My name is Michael Stora. I am a scholar. I am an athlete. I am the College of Staten Island. We are NCAA Division II.